know what? I feel so good. I, I, I want to take another break because I just feel I'm going to have some coffee. We're going to go to Channel 6, Clive, Clivey. He's uh, the Poets Ooh. Corner. And yeah, Clive's going to take us to Poets Corner. We have three poets from around the world. We're going to take another break. We'll be back to some improv, though, I promise. But first, we're going to Poets Corner with Clive Clivey. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from where you thought you were and don't know if you're there anymore, I give you the one and only Poets Corner with Clive Clivey. Hello, and welcome to Poets Corner, where we have poets from around the world come and share their knowledge of the universe with you. Because poetry is life, and life is poetry. Let's have our three poets show themselves this evening. We have the Afternoon of Mint, Ann Arbor, and Little Sally. Hi! Hello, welcome. Thank you all for being here this evening and sharing. You're amazing. Now listen, I could just suggest a poet. You're my favorite, but I want to open it up to the audience. What is your favorite? We'll start with you, Anne. What is your favorite poem by Ann Arbor? I know you're very familiar with her work. Of course I know. She's so exciting. She's everywhere right now. Oh, 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 when the heart yodels. Oh, one of my favorites. A poem to the bank for you, Anne. Thank you for reciting tonight's poem. La Corazon. It comes out with sound. It comes out with air. It sings. It dances. It jumps across hilltops, mountains. It's in Holland. It's pulsing, pulsing. Yule, yule, yule. My friend Jewel does it best. I've heard her many times express with my yule, yule, yule wants to do. It beats, it drums, it bounces on hilltops when my heart yodels. Oh my goodness, thank you, Anne. I believe, and am I mistaken, that's the first time you've ever done that in public. Yes, wow. I don't like doing it. No, it's I'm beautiful. Doing. It makes me sad inside, but that's okay. That's what poetry's for. Well done, Anne, for making us sad. Our next part, little Sally, thanks for staying up this evening. Okay. <laughs> little Sally, as you know, is almost too famous for her age. It's so ridiculous. Someday she may be more than what she is, but how could she? Her poetry has reached us all through the magic words of her young perspective and age. What is your favorite little Sally poem that she will recite for you this evening? The <laughs> little Sally, thanks. Thank your mom for me. Little Sally, what is your favorite? I know I have my favorite. I can tell you what my favorite is. Would you like that? But I would love for the audience. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. I was thinking to uh, Oh to Broken Dishwasher. Oh, Bella, that's amazing. Thank you. I, I can't believe what well, we thought the same thing. Little Sally, Oh to Broken Dishwasher.
then I should have my cup. I'll have my fuck. And I'll have my bowl to eat out of till I'm old. <laughs> oh my god. This wasser. <laughs> Oh my God, little Sally. I mean, we've all experienced that, but to hear it put so well by just a little child with her amazing poetry mind. Oh, thank you, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> but not least, we're very lucky to have the world renowned famous after dinner mint. After dinner mint, as you know, thank you, sir, for being here again. I really appreciate it. Clive Privy is always appreciative to see you after dinner mint. What is your favorite after dinner mint poem? I know you're familiar with all his work. He's been around for so long. I don't know about you. I feel like I've grown up with after dinner mint. And he always sees, oh, oh, the Great War and other Matt Damon failures. Wow. This is a controversial one, of course. Um, yes. I, well, if you don't mind, do you mind doing it live? Oh, that's okay. I'll do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Great Wall, another Matt Damon fa failures by the After Dinner Mint. <sighs> Films. We sit, we watch, we feel, we cry, we laugh. Matt Damon. All of the above. You think of a list of Matt Damon films. You think Saving Private Ryan, The Martian. But do you forget a films like The Legend of Bagger Vance? That film, I think, made me crap my pants. And then I watched The Brothers Grimm. Who knows which Grim was even him. And then the talented Mr. Ripley. Jude Law ripped out Matt Damon's Ripley. And don't get me started on films about zoos. So many films with zoos and Matt Damon cleaning up poos. So I ask you this, Matt Damon, when is the next film coming? And will it soar or will it sink? Or will you sit there wondering what we all think? I know one thing. You'll never be on a late show again. Because your films are the worst. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen! Oh! As you all know, we've read in the publications how they had they ended up, and you guys had a dinner and worked things out, didn't you? After that poem, is that true? After dinner, man? we did. Yeah, we uh, we had a uh, tea at uh, Boston. Tea in Boston. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, poems. Poets from around the world here. With Poets Corner with me, Clive Clive. I'd like to thank all three poets. Join us next week when we have more poets from around the world. Remember, poetry is love and love is life. I'm Clive Clive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Poets Corner. Oh my goodness, to have that nice touch of poetry and those three world famous poets from around the world. I, I'm just so happy that we have that kind of entertainment here with us because we don't just do improv, we do other things here. A little poetry, a little others. You know what? For now, we are going to do some improv. We're going to do a game called New Choice. I need Steve and Lindsay. The